Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here in Cannes. Uh, maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to your film, Marcel. What can people expect if they watch it? <laughs> um, uh, Marcel is a very strange movie, I think. Um, I wanted to, be a, um, to do a comedy, but in fact there is a lot of... Uh, uh, there is a big, uh, deep level, we can say that. And it's uh, the story of a young girl split between two words, not only two words, but um, her mother, which is a, um, an artist, and she's very uh, uh, into her art with uh, her dog, Marcel, and uh, the word of um, her father, and the father, uh, we can imagine, uh, is, is no more there, but uh, there is their, his brain, uh, her grand grandparents, so um, she is split in two, and she tries to get the love of the mother. But uh, everything is um, seen through the um, through the eyes of the girl. Mm. So this is not a realistic movie. Mm. I don't want to say that it's a fairy tale because it's not so fair. Mm. <laughs> there is a lot of uh, cruel, cruel, cruelty, mm. and um, inside uh, that I. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy because uh, it's a mix of things. Mm. And obviously, making this transition from being an actress to mm. becoming a filmmaker, um, what prompted that, and why was this story the right, right one for your future debut? <laughs> oh, I waited a lot because um, I started with cinema um, 20 years ago. And um, after those years, always uh, with um, another glance on me. I mean, no? with directors, uh, you are uh, seen by someone. Uh, I thought that could be uh, the moment of a return, this, this glance, mm -hmm. in something that um, was maybe close to me. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, it starts like an, an intimate story. Mm -hmm. There is a little of autobiography uh, things, mm -hmm. but um, I was trying to transform everything with a with another um, I don't know how to say uh, another taste nothing um, like a, a, a real no uh, uh, a real um, kind of see, see things but um, just to transform it mm -hmm. and Tell us about your wonderful, wonderful cast. Um, uh, so obviously it rests very much on the, not only their performances, but their mm -hmm. chemistry on screen. So how did you cast both Mayan and, and Alba, who um, of course is a very, very well-known face. Um, but you know, how did you get them on board with your project? <laughs> but we already met for another project. I mean, I, I, I did a short movie with them. And they were uh, great. Mayan is the daughter of um, some of my best friends, so she's not at all an actress. Although she she's great, I think she she has a uh, she uh, she has the potential to 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 be a, a great actress. And uh, Alba, of course, she's a friend. I. Uh, I like her work very, very much. And as an actress, I felt that we don't have so many possibilities in Italy to express something about us. And uh, I was thinking that she's always in a very uh, dramatic roles and you know, deep feelings and, and she's very good in it. But she has also this um, funny side. Mm. And um, now we wanted to explore a little, so her character uh, is built on on her. Mm -hmm. And and how did you two work together to kind of 
prepare her for that role and I guess build this character because mm -hmm. it's one of kind of layers and complexities. Uh, we talked a lot um, and we worked on that image that, that was so personal. It was about my mother uh, and uh, my mother was uh, uh, a woman, um, we can say a little complex and out of every kind of uh, um, paradigmatic uh, no? uh, things. So we wanted to, to try to, to build a mother which is not the mother we attend. No? We... Uh, we? I, I mean, um, we expect, we expect uh, no attend, attend the Francesca. Sorry, I'm split like uh, no, no. with <laughs> languages, and um, and so we um, we tried a lot, uh, many paths, and uh, and for the other things uh, she worked a lot with a um, with a great choreo choreographer. So she she found her way to do the shows because we wanted the shows not to be, uh, not not to have an impact. It's like if people doesn't understand the, the doesn't understand this woman, no, this artist, it's all inside her. So we tried something conceptual, uh, but it was um, you know a, a beautiful encounter. Mm. And can you talk a little bit about how you did develop the sort of the look and feel of the film, those, you know, such striking visual aspects to it? Um, and like you say, because it's through the lens of the daughter, you've had that room perhaps to play a little bit with, you know, between reality and mm -hmm. kind of the imagination. Um, so, and, and also working, of course, with your uh, uh, director of photography, Daniel. Yeah. No, no, this is... Um our goal, I mean, to try to to draw a story uh, under a different glance, and so we we are not in a in a real world. Maybe we are, we are in a in a world that has no name, there's no place, no time. So we are like uh, floating into memories. And um, through the eyes of the girl, we are looking at, at everything. And this is the reason why with Dario D'Antonio, the DOP, we, um, we try to push on a, also on an expressionistic no, way of looking at things. Uh, so I, I told her to be uh, more free than usual. Yeah. No, I think uh, we have to play with cinema and if we have the chance no, to, mm. to, to be free, we have to get it. Mm. And in that sense, did you, would you say that you take influences from other filmmakers or other films or was this just something you kind of conceived of from your own mind? Um, I wasn't looking for real um, at someone for um, I mean, the style. Mm. I wasn't copying. Not at all. I think it's very personal and very strange. But, but of course, the storytelling and uh, the idea uh, comes from uh, The Kid by Charlie Chaplin. So I was looking for a small, small, small world that could become a new universe for, uh, for everyone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in terms of... Um, the subject matter in this mother and daughter relationship, it feels like um, it's something that maybe hasn't been explored enough on screen. And it's really um, fascinating that there are more and more opportunities now to kind of um, explore kind of female experience. Mm -hmm. um, so, also thinking of the other film that Alva, of course, was in, um, The Lost Daughter, mm -hmm. and how, you know, that prompted a lot of conversations um, and sort of pressures we put on women and mothers. Um, so uh, what made you think that's such an interesting thing to explore on screen? <laughs> but uh, as you are saying, these are films uh, made by women. <laughs> no? Mm -hmm. uh, I completely agree with you. Um, there is a lack of this storytelling 
uh, it, it, it's so strange because mother and daughter it's like a fondative but um, uh, story and cinema um, are made by men so it, it's not so uh, explored these these relationships mm. um, and I uh, no, I wanted to, to try to give another uh, side of the story by showing um, a relationship that has not the... Um, this mother is not devoted mm -hmm. to the child and uh, I think that we, we should keep the, um, the idea that a woman is not... Um, not every woman has to be a mother and uh, no, mm. the power of a woman, uh, it's not in her uh, motherness mm. or uh, in her, uh, I don't know, mm. her roles. Um, no, I want you to be uh, uh, more free and to show that women are free. So mm. it, this is what I wanted to do. Mm. In some ways, could you see it as one of the sort of last taboos in a way to admit that Lots of women do have ambivalence towards being Completely. mothers, or it's at least not something that's black and white or so clear that it's mm. just the right thing for everybody. And we maybe need to be more honest about that. But I, I was thinking a, a lot of time during my life that I was the adult in the relationship with my mother. And at the end, I, I understood, maybe too late, that she was doing her job very well because she loved me and the care is not something that you uh, can learn but you have to grow with that mm. so it's just um, um, like a, a journey that we ha we do together mm. it's not someone there and someone mm. and um Ultimately, what do you hope that people will take away from watching the film, both as an experience, but both the sort of lens you put on this relationship? And I wonder, because it's sort of semi-autobiographical, whether um, you found yourself different or you'd reflected differently on your own life and, like you say, with your relationship with your mum in, in the making of the film. Um, it's very strange because um, I started uh, this film thinking about my mother and then I discovered that um, it's also a film about my my father and um, I started with a very intimate story but at the end which I uh, my desire is that people can just um, recognize something just attached to the to the story because uh, it's not so personal, I mean it's relationships and the way we love each other, you know, it's, uh, it's like in the universe, it's not mm. at home. Mm. So this is my final thing. Mm. And um, what do you ultimately hope, I'm sorry, uh, what does it mean to you to have your film here in Cannes uh, and, <laughs> you know, um, just amongst all these other filmmakers and of course for people to be here in person and be able to watch it on the big screen after the couple of years we've had. Uh, I'm very... Um, no, uh, I'm moved because I started uh, here 20 years ago, so for me it's like a second debut. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy and grateful and I want to share uh, this experience with, uh, with a young girl and my loved ones here, no, uh, it's something else, it's, it, it isn't just a, a screening, mm -hmm. it's for real uh, uh, a sharing. Hmm. So. And, just, yeah, and very quickly, that, um, you know, do you feel, in the sense we're saying about like, having women's stories, and maybe there are some parallels with Ma Maggie Gyllenhaal, because of course she was an actress turned filmmaker mm -hmm. as well, um, or you think there's still a way to go for more women to have these opportunities to tell their stories? Yes, we have to take our uh, our place, our chance. I think this is the most important message. I was talking to this young actress uh, who received a, a prize here, a Chopard Trophy, and she was trying to accept the, uh, that beautiful thing. 
and I told her uh, you have to accept this is what we we don't do we we are not used to think that we deserve it mm. and so it's a <laughs> it's a work but mm. we have to do it mm. fantastic thank you so much for thank sharing you. all that with me thank and you. really enjoy your time here in Cannes thank, thank you so you. much thank cheers you. <laughs>